欢迎大家来到我们二零二四年龙年行大运新春盛典的现场。本次活动由启阳中心主办。I'm your host for today. My name is Zhao Zhao. 我的名字叫早早哈。首先呢，在这里就要早早的给大家拜个年，祝大家一帆风顺，二龙奔腾，三阳开泰，四季平安，五福临门，六六大顺，七星高照，八方来财，九九归一，十全十美，龙年行大运，万事如意。Wish you a very, very successful year of 2024. 好，首先呢，各位朋友，我们要在这里给大家介绍一下我们本次活动的主办方——启阳文化中心。一直以来，致力于为社区提供多种多样且非常丰富的文化活动。我们和大家一起回顾一下，在五月份的时候，我们专门举办了反。针对亚裔歧视的和平与爱音乐会，同时呢，还有龙舟节的赛龙舟的赛场上，更是少不了我们的团队，还有秋季的圆游会，都有非常精彩的节目，与社区一起度过了许多欢乐的时光。So please allow me to introduce the organizer for today's event, the Globe Community Center. We have been dedicated our time and energy into providing a lot of interesting and enjoyable performances for the community. And to look back for the past year, we did the Love and Peace concert dedicated to the anti-Asian hate cause, and we also had the Dragon Boat Race as well as the Mid Autumn Carnival. And we enjoyed a lot of time together, and that's what we're gonna do today as well. 那今天呢，希望各位哈能够与我们一起共度欢乐的时光。说到新年的庆祝，一定是少不了舞龙舞狮。那接下来，亲爱的朋友们，让我们一起掌声有请蔡礼佛舞狮队为我们带来精彩的表演。有请小狮子们 ，Let's welcome the Lion Dance。
小狮子，等一会儿会把青菜抛出，代表的是财气、运气和福气哈。Because lettuce in Cantonese means fortune. So by ripping off the lettuce, they're spreading the good luck and fortune to everyone here. You want to catch that? Here we go. You want to catch that for our VIP guests. Thank you. This way, please. Happy Lunar New Year. I want you to say it back to me. I cannot hear you louder. Excellent. Because when people say Gong Xi Fa Chai to you, you have to say Gong Xi Fa Chai back, right? Because good luck is two way street. I'm Veronica Sang. I'm introducing myself. I'm the executive vice president of the board of directors of Glow Cultural Center. It is my honor to welcome you all to Glow Dragon Chinese Festival to celebrate the year of the dragon in this beautiful place called Flushing Town Hall. Isn't this beautiful? This is a hidden treasure in Flushing community. This is a very important year because the dragon has long been associated with prosperity and imperial power. For those who were born in the year of the dragon, supposed to be very strong and have great leadership skill. So I'm sure many of you are born of the year of the dragons because I see a lot of strong people in the audience. And that's why a lot of people are rushing to have dragon babies this year. And the hospital expected to be very busy in a maternity ward. It's too late for me. <laughs> I'm, I am like many of you, have been a long time supporter of Glow Cultural Center. I witnessed Glow started as a very small organization, unknown in the community, to where we have accomplished today to be well respected and well known in the community. And you know what? We just received an award for Council Woman Sandra Ong on February 7 this year. So we have come a long way. On behalf of the Board of Directors, I want to thank all the sponsors of, and for your generous support. Your sponsorship enables us to continue serving our community and to carry out GCC's mission, which is to enrich our community with educational, cultural, and social programs. Without you, we cannot carry out what we have done. A special recognition to the Royal Dragon sponsors, and I'm going to read the name. Amy McChan. Yeah. WAC Lighting. Yeah. Self-help. Oh, self-help is too busy making babies. <laughs> Santong Association. Santong Tong Hanboy. All the God, Godless. Veronica Sang and Cathay Bank. All of you are very important, but special recognition to these 
and Royal Dragon Sponsors. I also want to acknowledge different groups and performers and staff and volunteers for working so hard to make this event possible. Don't you think they also deserve a big round of applause? Thank you, thank you everyone. And of course, our beautiful MC. So with that, enjoy the show and a great, strong and prosperity in 2024 and beyond. Thank you. Thank you, what a speech. Thank you, 谢谢各位，谢谢，请落座。Thank you. 那接下来呢，要请上的是我们的好朋友，来自于市长办公室社区服务处的副处长 Peter Gu。让我们有请顾亚明先生上台致辞。Is the deputy commissioner of the Community Affairs Unit of the Mayor's Office, and he used to be our City Council member. You must have remembered him, the Mayor of Flushing, the former Mayor of Flushing, Mr. Peter Gu. 来，掌声有请！大家新年好啊！今天非常高兴能参加起源中心主办这个新年庆祝啊、呃、农历呃的活动。首先感谢我们甘坦宁女士，还有她起源中心的董事们啊，花、呃、很多时间精力去主办这个活动啊、呃，在这里也全话胆说了啊，就祝大家。身体健康，龙马精神，龙年行大运，谢谢大家。好，也祝您新年快乐，谢谢。好，那接下来呢，要请上的这一位哈，也是一位传奇的人，我们要请上的是我们皇后区新任的华裔法官 Evelyn g o n 让我们掌声有请。Good afternoon, Gong Hei Fa Choi. I'd like to thank GLOW for all their tremendous work in the community. Thank you to the GLOW Board of Directors, the Executive Director, the GLOW leadership, GLOW staff, including uh, Director Liang Ming, um, all of the volunteers, and all of the performers here today. I'm wishing everyone a very happy new year, the year of the dragon. All the best and prosperity to you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Judge. Judge Gone. 好，接下来呢，我们要请上的是长岛首位的华人的女性议员 Kristen Liu, a city council member from Long Island. Kristen Liu. Hi, everybody. 新年快乐 Happy New Year. 恭喜发财 I'm Kristen Liu, and I'm the first Asian American town council person. In North Hempstead, Long Island, and for all of Long Island. So thank you for your support in making that happen. We made history together. I want to especially thank Tai Wang for her support and the Glow Community Center. It's been so special to see all the community work that has been done in the Flushing and Long Island community and in all of New York. You truly make us a better place. The diversity, the culture, and traditions. That are passed on and celebrated is what makes our city and our town and even Long Island so wonderful to live in. Thank you to our sponsors for making all of this happen, and thank you for the volunteers. Your dedication means the world because without our volunteers, we could not put this on. So thank you so much. 那接下来呢，我们就会要进入到我们今天的演出的部分了。Let's enjoy the face-changing performance from Sichuan Opera. A big round of applause.
那接下来呢，我们这个表演哈，就是咱们小朋友的节目了。我们要请上的是来自于星海艺术中心的小朋友们，为我们带来舞蹈的表演。再一次邀请我们的观众用掌声，将我们星海艺术中心的各位小朋友迎上场来，掌声响起来。
谢谢，感谢我们星海艺术中心的孩子们，你们表演太棒了，谢谢。两支舞蹈哈 ，So that's actually students from my school, Zhao Learning Education, and they're going to do a play and to actually tell you the origin of the Nian, which is the Lunar New Year that we're celebrating. All right, you would never think that Nian is a monster, right? Hmm. Lunar New Year is actually connected with the concept of a、oh, monster eating people. So let's take a look. 谢谢，感谢各位热情的掌声。接下来，让我们请上七位小朋友为我们带来年的故事。有请。Many years ago, a little boy named Bing Bing lived with his grandparents in a small village in China. Bing Bing loved to play outside more than anything, but today was the eve of the New Year. Playing outside wasn't safe. Bing Bing. <coughs> Come inside quickly! Hurry, child. Nan will come today. Bing Bing rushed inside, where his grandfather Ye Ye waited with a plate of dumplings for Bing Bing. Dumplings, my favorite. Nai Nai closed the front door and moved the chair to block the entry. Nai Nai, can you tell me the story of Nan again? Do you really think he will come tonight? A child. He will come tonight, as he always does on this night each year. If we are lucky, he will only destroy a few crops and old buildings. If we are unlucky, he could destroy a whole lot more. No one remembers how long ago the monster Nian started ravaging the villages across China. Some believe Nian is as old as the sun, but every year on the eve of the New Year. Nian wakes from his long winter slumber, and he is hungry. He leaves his home in the sea and crawls up on land in search of crops to eat, homes to destroy. Sometimes Nian has eaten children. This is why you must never go outside after the sun sets on the eve of the New Year. It isn't safe. Nian destroys everything from houses. To crops and even trees, there's no stopping him. Bing Bing looked terrified. His face turned white, and he started to cry. But I love the trees. Why? Why would Nian do such a terrible thing? Nian is a beast, and this is what this beast do. He's hungry after a long winter slumber, and he needs to feed to regain his strength. I have an idea. Why don't we all sleep in the family room tonight? We can move our mattresses and stay safe and warm by the light of the stove. A few hours later, Bing Bing was wakened by a sound outside. It was cold in the room, and he saw that the fire had died. Bing Bing crept over to the window. A kitten. What is she doing outside? What if Nian came and saw her? Bing Bing tiptoed outside, looking around for Nian. He saw nothing. He walked over to the tree where he had seen the little kitten. Meow. Kitten, what are you doing outside for? Don't you know it isn't safe? Don't worry. I'll bring you into my home where it's safe and warm. Bing Bing wasn't kidding when he said he loved the trees. He reached out for the lowest branch and pulled himself up. The tiny gray kitten watched him as he climbed. Roar! I smell a delicious snack. Forget those potatoes. Tonight's dessert is my favorite. A little boy. Nian wasn't actually that close to Bing Bing, but his sense of smell was keen. He crossed a mile swiftly with only his nose to guide him. Soon he could see a tree. Where the little boy reached for a kitten. Ew! What stinks? Do you smell that kitten? It smells like fish and rotting trash. Hey, I may stink, but at least I won't be a monster's dinner tonight. Bing Bing looked down, and that's when he saw Nian's bright, glowing yellow eyes. He picked up the kitten and cuddled it protectively. Stay, stay back, Nian. You, you don't want to eat us. We're so small and meek. You'll find better treats somewhere else. 
Little boy, there's no one out here. No one else for me to eat. No one else to help you. Stay right where you are. I'm coming for you. Bing Bing had closed the front door to his house, so Nian was right. He and the kitten were truly alone. Kitten, we cannot just stay here and wait for Nian to eat us up. On a count of three, I will jump out of the tree and run as fast as I can to the door. One, two, three. Bing Bing's light slippers hit the soft ground. He loved the beautiful red night slippers and matching pajamas Night Night had made for him. Red! I hate red! Stay back, boy! You, 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 you hate red? As much as I hate the light, you foolish boy! Woo, we're safe! Stop clapping! It's too much! You mean clapping like this? Nian jumped back further into the darkness. He really wanted to eat this little boy, but feared he would taste like red and noise. Bing Bing, what on earth are you doing out here? It's so cold and dark. When Nai Nai opened the door wider, Bing Bing saw Ye Ye relighting the stove. He looked back at Nian, now hiding in the bushes. Red, loud noise, fire, no! Nian shooted his eyes with his paw and turned away from Bing Bing. He spun around and disappeared into the night. Bing Bing, come inside quickly. Nan could be close. Nai Nai, I saw Nian already. I came in to bring this little kitten into our home. Nian came for me and the kitten. But I heard him say he doesn't like the color red. Maybe he's like afraid of it or it hurts his eyes. We were saved by my red pajamas and slippers. You saw Nian. And your night clothes saved you? And that's not all. I clapped my hands and he tur turned back even more. He also said he hates loud noises. And when you opened the door wider, the fire from Ye Ye relighting the stove scared him even more. He turned around and ran away. This is great news. We must share this information with other villagers. We are saved. The following day, the first day of the Lunar New Year, Bing Bing and his grandparents went to the town and shared what they knew about Nian with the other villagers. Now, the villagers knew that Nian feared the color red, loud noises, and bright lights. So from that day on, Chinese families wear red clothes, decorate their homes with red, and set off firecrackers to scare away Nian. The end. So next up, we're gonna introduce some Chinese yo-yo performance to you, at the, originally as the one of the sports that you do to keep healthy. And now, uh, Linda from the Globe Community Center actually changed it a little bit, make it more inclined towards acrobats and dance. So it's gonna be more like a show, something like a facade you can enjoy. So ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Linda to do the Chinese yo-yo performance.
A round of applause for Linda Craig. Thank you, Linda. She is also our Qiyang Shaar Kongzhu and Hip Hop teacher. Now, give everyone a good news. If you want to be like her, if you want to learn from her, come to the Glow Community Center on every Wednesday and Friday. For more information, you can collect a little pamphlet downstairs at the booth. Now, our Linda, every week and every Friday, will be at the Qiyang Center for free to teach you. For more information, you can come to the booth below. You can find our booth to understand. 好，那接下来呢，我们要为大家请上的是大师之作了哈。我们要请上的是由芭蕾王子之称的陈振威老师所改编的芭蕾舞《花之圆舞曲》当中的《胡桃匣子》的选段。So next up, we're gonna enjoy some dance, but it's very special. They're gonna be dressed and do the makeup as the Peking Opera, but it's integrated with the Chinese folk dance moves. Let's enjoy. Let's give them a round of applause. Let's give them a round of applause.
award-winning Chinese acrobatics, and she has, and she's the current Guinness record uh, record holder for the specific umbrella balancing performance. And you see one, two, three, four umbrellas right now. Oh, five! Wow! But she's gonna amaze me. And you, every single one of you, later, because I know she prepared more. I know. 好，我们为大家介绍一下，现在来到台上的伞，似乎只有一二三四五五把伞而已哈。但是咱们的 Lina 今天给大家备了绝活了，大年初二来拜年有绝活，我们一起来期待一下，到底今天他要顶几把伞？猜猜是个什么数字哈，亲爱的？来，让我们掌声有请。非常高哈，因为一点点小小的空气的流动都可能影响到这个伞的动向，所以我都不敢说话。咱们也一起屏住呼吸哈，屏气凝神的来欣赏这样的一个世界级的表演。Go two umbrellas at the same time. I can't even pick up the umbrella with my hands. Come on, 我用手都拿不起来。Lina 太厉害了哈。The umbrella juggling is largely considered as the most difficult form of acrobatics. And Lena keeps her dreams and really trained more than 10 hours a day for six years, starting from nine years old. That's dedication. What? Wow. Please pause the music. Please pause the music. We will resume really shortly, but Lena. I hooked all the audiences on. I said you're gonna surprise them. Uh, yeah, do you like my show? 
file umbrella enough? No. no? You wish you more? Yeah. I'm so excited to be here to celebrate New Year with you all. And today, guess. Yes. All right. Lena wants to challenge herself. So how many of umbrellas do you think she can juggle at the same time? Eight. Okay, eight is a good number, right? Eight is the most auspicious number in Chinese culture. Represents fortune and good luck. Ba is a good number, huh? Wow,大家屏住呼吸,hold your breath, hold your breath, oh my gosh, wow, 这是几把了,咱能数出来吗? 这是几把了, and you can move it? What? And nobody claps for her? Seriously? 一点掌声和欢呼声都没有吗,朋友们? And if I count it right, wow, that's eight already, right? Wow. Here, we also wish all of you to be proud of the new year. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Lina, for bringing us the most amazing performance. Thank you. Again, Happy New Year to everyone. Thank you very much.